All right, so one other way of styling that we will we'll take a look at here, it's kind of fun. Um, this is an ordered list or an unordered list. You've seen them in any kind of word processing program where you basically make a bulleted list. Now they work a little bit differently through HTML, although they look the same once you're done, um, but I'm gonna show you what the difference is here. So let's say we wanted to make a list and let's go ahead and do it after the first paragraph here. I'm gonna kind of get rid of some of that spacing. And after the first paragraph, let's just say maybe I wanted the text and let's go ahead and here, we'll use this header tag here. And let's say we were making a list and this is the header for it and we'll say my favorite, I don't know, um, bands. And let's say we wanted to do a list of the top five bands that you really like. So after here, I'm gonna hit a return. The way that we start, an unordered list. Now that's one with just bullets that do not have numbers next to them. So just bullet points. We start it with a UL. Oops, that didn't do it. Let's try that one more time. So UL, an unordered list. All right, so go ahead and close that list for me. Hit return. Now, think of this as kind of like the HTML up here, where that's going to start things where it's gonna start things out, and it's basically just a wrapper for everything else that goes within it. So you start out with your UL, so we're defining that this is gonna be an unordered list as opposed to one that uses numbers. And within there, we have to say what is gonna be the actual bullet itself, which is a list item. So what we do is we do the less than LI for list item, and we close it out. So now anything within there is gonna give me bulleted, uh, is gonna give me bulleted content. So let's go ahead and type in, uh, all right, so let's say Slayer is my favorite band. I don't know, I'm just pulling that out. And let's go ahead and do another list item here. And we'll say Pink Floyd is another one here. And let's do one more just so we have got a little bit. Now I'm going ahead and lining these up. This really has no bearing on how it looks when it gets to the web page itself. Uh, this is more for just my personal preference. It's I like to be able to see exactly how things are tabbed in. A lot of people will tab it in like that. Um, but again, it has no real bearing on how it's going to look on the web page. So let's go ahead and add one more list item. And in there, let's say Garth Brooks. Rock on, dude. All right, let's save that file. And I'm gonna come back to my browser up here. And of course I hit the refresh button and you can see my favorite bands and I've got three nice bulleted items right there. Um, again, we talked about those as being unordered lists. So you're just gonna see a bullet, but let's say we want to turn those into actual numbers as opposed to the bullet points themselves. So let's come back here and it's actually a very simple fix. Eh, just all this space kind of bothers me. Let's close that up. All right, so we turn that unordered list into an ordered list. So the HTML tag for that is OL. And make sure that we close that out properly. OL, otherwise we get HTML garbage in here and it's not gonna work. I'm gonna save that file and come back and hit refresh. And there we go. So now my ordered list is numbered as opposed to just bulleted. So again, the one thing I do want to point out, I want to make sure is absolutely clear, is that we start the ordered list or unordered list, we close it out, then everything has to stay between there that you want to be a bulleted item. So it's kind of back to that whole hamburger text markup. We want to make sure that our buns are on the outside and then all the meat and all the other fun stuff stays in between there.